wait for it. What are you doing? Just keep going straight. You getting tired? Yeah. You shouldn't drink so much. Hi, good evening. Hey, Thanks for being here. How are you? Not so bad, yeah, thank you. Well, you've been with Jackass for a long time already, so I wonder how do you feel that this franchise evolved since day one until today? Um, I think it's just that, it has evolved. Which, uh, you know, for us was a challenge at first to see if people would understand it and get it. Um, but I think the spirit of it remains the same as what Jackass has always been. It's still the, the fun inside it, the camaraderie inside it. That stays the same. So I think, you know, Jackass can go in a lot of different directions. This is one. And we can also do more Jackass, who knows, in the end. I mean, we'll go, uh, if there's a reason to do another one, we'll do another one. But yeah, this was a big sort of test and an experiment. I think it worked. So we all feel good about it. Following up on that, how you convince the studios to do an spin off of Jackass? It wasn't, we didn't really approach it as that. Um, the idea was, could we make a movie out of this one character and do it in a way that you'd also tell a story because it wasn't just going to be 90 minutes of random skits we knew that wasn't going to be as interesting so they were interested they were interested in the idea for a long time in fact we took a while to say okay we'll do it because it was just the we need to spend a lot of time thinking it through writing ideas just getting comfortable with the idea that we could go out and do it at a level we'd be happy with and then ultimately we got to a place where we were just confident enough to go, yeah, let's do it. Let's just go try it. And then figure it out as you do it, because that's basically what we did. We'd shoot, we'd watch it, look at it, learn something new, go out and do it again, come back. It took about a year, so. And just to finish, yeah. this is more about hidden cameras. So you actually tell people after that that oh, yeah. you was there? And how they react about that? There's a whole range of emotions. Um, there's almost a a whole cycle people have to go through. Their first reaction is always complete confusion. They don't understand. Because we shot this in parts of the country in the US where they don't shoot movies and they don't shoot hidden cameras, so nobody expected it. But they go from shock and then relief, usually, that what they thought was happening wasn't real. Uh, sometimes they get a little upset, but for the most part, everybody then was thought it was great and thought it was really fun and they were happy to be part of it. I mean, that was the overwhelming majority of people were just happy to that they got to be in something like this. Beautiful. Thanks so much for the time. Congratulations. Have a good day. I'm taking you to your dad so he can look after you. Come on, let's have some fun. You're going to fix that penguin, bro. Nope. Hello. Well, I'm I. Nice to meet you, dude. Not so bad. Thank you. Well, the first thing, how you approach this character for a kind what? of spin off? How you approach this character? How do you prepare yourself to approach to this character? Well, I go through three hours of makeup, and my makeup guys are so filthy that uh, for three hours they're saying the worst jokes, the filthiest jokes, and by the end of three hours, I'm an old pervert. I love them. Uh, your mate, uh, Jeff Trimore, is doing a film about Motley Crue. The do what? You, your, your mate, Jeff, is doing a movie about Motley Crue. Do you see yourself in the movie? Oh, no, but I love that book, and I think Jeff will do a great job with it. Perfect, thank you. Don't hurt me. Hurt Don't you. hurt me. I'm 86 years old. Don't hurt me. Swing it.